Yes, welcome to Exposure. Where we're chatting to Victoria Beckham. It is so exciting to have you here in Brown Thomas today. We're saying it's about five years since your last trip. It is five years. And when I came the last time, um, it was the first day that Harper walked. The so first day, her the, first steps? Her first steps were here at Brown Thomas. Why? Um, in Dublin. Fond memories, and also I got married in Dublin of as well. So it's a real treat to come here and, you know, to get such an incredible welcoming, which which, which I received today oh, is good. super exciting. I mean, I love the people here. Oh, good. It's a real treat. It's a real treat. Since I had two little boys myself, working mums are now my heroes. So how do you manage to, and I know it's a, a cliche, but how do you manage to, you know, be fulfilled professionally and still know that I would drop everything for my four kids you know because that's essentially what we all would do at yeah. the end of the day so how do you manage to make everything work you know I have a great team of people mm -hmm. that make it work because David and the children will always be my priority mm -hmm. um, so things like taking the kids to school every day picking them up every day being there for dinner and bath time those things will always be a priority and you know that saying if you want something done ask a busy person <laughs> It's true. You know, if you ask a working mum to do something, it will get done, it will get done efficiently because there's no time to mess around. It's so true. Um, so it is a juggling act and I have yeah. an incredible team of people that make everything everything possible. Mm. You know, when you just said, am I, am I going home tonight? Yeah, because I have to be home in time to put the kids in bed, you Love know, because, uh, because that's, that's, they are my, are my priority. Absolutely. You have spoken before about how, you know, your mum inspired a love mm. of makeup in you. I know she's still so young but uh, is Harper taking any interest in you know mummy's line and mummy's cosmetics you know we play with makeup and I think that's such a nice bonding thing that you can do if you're lucky enough yeah. to have a daughter and she does have a very girly side but mm. then she's she's a little tomboy you know she yeah. loves to play football the boys don't play football anymore Harper loves to play football um, so she she is quite girly but at yeah. the same time she's a tomboy so she's not too precious about the way that she dresses you know for me I want her to be happy happy, comfortable. She wears clothes that she can run around and be comfortable in as opposed to as opposed to not. Yes. So she's not overly girly. Yeah. Um, I briefly want to ask you about David because you have said that mm -hmm. he, uh, you know, nicks a couple of your products. What are his favourites? Well, he likes the Morning Aura because that's something obviously. that the guys can wear. Um, you know, I'd be a little concerned if you reach for the eye palette. I'm not judging. <laughs> I'm not judging, but, you know, I'm not saying that has David's name all over it. Um, yeah, I suppose he might use a lip balm and he'll use a morning aura, you know. It's great. Um, and, and just to ask about working moms, what is your advice to, to women who, who are struggling and feeling like they're doing nothing right, they're not getting the home life right and they're not getting the career bit right, they feel like yeah. they're spreading themselves mm -hmm. thin, which I think is, is such a common complaint of women these days. We're trying to have it all and yet it feels like we're falling short. So what would your advice to other working mums be then that hold you up as a role model? You know, I think that it's it's difficult and I think that women need to be kind, not just to each other, but to themselves as well. It's hard. It's a juggling act. And, you know, sometimes there are days when, you know, I feel like I'm not doing anything right either because you want to be the best mum, the best wife, yeah. the best professional, and sometimes you're torn and you feel guilty. And I think you've just got to do the best that you can do mm. and be kind to yourself and not feel guilty about, go and get a facial. It's okay to do that. It's okay to go to the gym. It's okay to look after yourself. Failing that, just get a really good pair of dark sunglasses. <laughs> Have a glass of wine. Yeah. I mean, good God, there are so many of us in the same position. It's oh. not easy. And, you know, I think sometimes, you know, you look at the pictures and, and it looks, you know, to working mums, especially when they're celebrities, it looks like they're doing everything so perfectly and it's mm. so calm. It's no different. We all freak out. We oh, all gosh. question ourselves constantly. You have made me feel so much better about life in general right now. That is great advice. So many people are going to get so much from that. We are, of course, uh, talking about your second collection with Estee Lauder. How has it evolved from what we saw previously? You know, um, with the first collection, I said that I wanted it to be um, products that every woman should have in her makeup bag. The mm -hmm. key must-have items that you would think would be very easy to find that are very difficult. The perfect nude, you know, mm -hmm. the perfect bronzer, the perfect eye palette. And what I've done with this collection is I've built on that. You know, the first collection was such a huge success that it enabled me to do more. Yeah. Um, I've expanded on the city looks, uh, added a city, 
added a signature part of the collection as well. So each look has evolved and changed. So it's a different London look, a different wow. New York look, etc., etc. Um, but again, I'm really just scratching the surface because beauty is something that I love so mm. much. I feel that I'm being really, really honest with this collection. I use all of this makeup, and these are things that I've searched for for such a long time. You know, I've still on so many red carpets. I've done yeah. lots of editorial shots, picked up lots of tips along the way that for such a long time I wanted to share with women all around the world. So this really is a dream come true and, and very honest, this collection, very honest. So many people look to you for inspiration. Do you look to anyone? Do I you look have to a women. Yeah. I look to women, you know, as you just said, working, working mums you know are mm. inspiring mm. you know I, I like women and I I think more women need to support women mm -hmm. so yeah most women are inspiring in some way whatever it is that they're doing yeah do you find that your attitude to makeup and beauty has changed over the years I'm working in the entertainment industry and now going into fashion has it evolved do you feel well I mean it's improved <laughs> it's definitely improved um, I think the older that you get, the more accepting you are of yourself and yeah. how you look. Mm. And you make the most of, of the way you look. You understand yes. you've got to be healthy. It's not just about what you put on your face. It's making yes. sure that you eat correctly and you drink enough water and you sleep as much as you can. So would they be your kind of diet, lifestyle, beauty tips then? It like begins from within. 100%, yeah. 100%. And eating healthy fats, you know, th those kind of things. You don't realise it when you're younger because when you're young you can't even imagine what it's like to be sort of you know 40 out of 50 however old you know yeah the woman 100%. is you look stunning today what Thank is you. your go-to kind of makeup look for say a daytime versus a nighttime do you have something that will work for both do you you know smudge it up a little for evening time what do you tend to do what are your habits like you know I think that um, like I said about this collection being honest you know I wear every single city look you know sometimes if I'm doing an editorial shoot for example I might wear the Paris look Ooh. which is a stronger look which is what looks lovely on you lovely. today yeah but then day to day I'd normally go with either the London look or the LA look and then I'll just put on a little bit more in the evening and that's where I'll start to play with the eye foils um, mm. and the you know the glittery parts of the collection. And actually the morning aura is a great one just to kind of give yourself a little fresh base over your makeup and then to kind of start again, isn't yes. it? Yes, I exactly. And it's a really good primer. It's hydrating, it's moisturising and it just gives a healthy glow. And the other thing that's great is actually this aura, aura oh. gel, oh, which I sometimes use as a lip balm for example you can use it as a balm but then if I'm doing an editorial shoot or in my show for example in the ready to wear show that I showed uh, this September I'll take it and I'll put it on the girls the top of their cheeks down the center of their nose and a little bit on the eyes as well oh, so yeah. it feels you know a little glossy and, um, and very youthful so this is also the product that I have in all my handbags and actually, this is one that Harper can use because it's, oh, it's just like her. a little lip balm that's actually very moisturising as well. So I'm, I'm quite obsessed with it. Uh, you touched briefly there on your, your skincare. How do you look after your skin? Do you have a strict routine? Are you, is it a laborious process in the evening? How good are you at looking after your skin? You know, um, I make sure that I take my makeup off every single night. I never go to bed with my makeup on. Do you not? You're so no, good. no, never. No matter how tired you are, what time you've gotten in or no. off a flight. Or, really? No, never. Okay. So Many always resolution. take off my makeup. Um, I love Sarah Chapman's products, and also when I'm in LA, I go for facials with Harold Lancer. So I like to have regular facials, cleanse, tone, moisturize, regular face masks, that kind of thing. You know, snatch moments when I can. Yeah. You know. And a little bit of you time. There's nothing wrong with that, and mm. we all feel guilty. But we shouldn't feel guilty, you know. You have to be kind to yourself. You mentioned there are all the editorials and all the shoots. Are there any that stand out over the years? Um, it's a hard question. It's a hard question because I've been so fortunate to work with the best photographers in the world, mm. the best makeup artists, hairstylists, and stylists. Um, I've done a lot of Vogue covers, and it's always really exciting to do Vogue because it's Vogue. <laughs> You know, it's yeah, Vogue. And, yeah. So um, I don't know if I would have a favourite, but um, I'm very proud of all of the Vogue covers. You mm. know, I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a normal girl from a working class background that had a dream, um, worked really hard, 
every time I was knocked down, I got back up and, and started again. Mm. And so the fact that me, you know, I then have done shoots like that is uh, something I'm very proud of and something that my mum's really proud yeah. of. But are you proud when you hear of, like, a woman on the street wearing it? I mean, that must really fill you. But, God, it's working, you know, they love it. I'm so, um, you know, I feel very happy when I see anybody that has that's chosen to invest in me as a brand, mm. you know, whether mm. that's through fashion mm -hmm. or makeup, you know, mm. there is a lot of choice out there for, for, for the customer. Mm -hmm. And if the customer decides to invest in something that I have created, then, you know, that, that means a lot. You know, people say, is it exciting when you see a celebrity wearing your clothes? It's just as exciting to bump into a restaurant or be in Starbucks and see somebody see wearing. Compact. Yeah. yeah, and uh, and you know I I love women. I want to empower women, make women feel like the best version of themselves. And she she feels that way when she pulls out one of the the compacts. You know, if she's on the train or on the bus or or at work. You know, you feel mm -hmm. very um, you feel special and mm -hmm. you feel empowered. Mm -hmm. And it's the ultimate in luxury, which I believe that my customer really deserves. Mm -hmm. 100%. And do you find yourself still learning on shoots like that? You know, do you still kind of take something away from if it's a stylist or if it's a makeup artist or hairdresser on the day? Oh, 100%. I mean, you know, I don't pretend to know everything. I like to surround myself with the best professionals, whether that's photographers, makeup artists, um, or just when I'm at work, you know, in a business environment. I want to learn. I'm like a sponge, um, and that's very important to me, to just surround myself with the best professionals, no matter what uh, what category. I always say I'd rather be, you know, the, 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 the one in the room that's learning, and that's very, very important on every different level, really, I learning from that. the people I surround myself with. OK, well, then, can you honestly tell me which is your hero product, if you have to just leave the house with one thing from the collection, what would it be? I mean, it's a bit like picking your favourite child, um, <laughs> and I couldn't do that. No, but, of course. Um, if I had to say, I'd probably say Morning Aura. Yes. Um, I use that every single day. I mean, the starting point for Morning Aura was I said to Esther Lauder, I said, you know, I get on an aeroplane, London, mm -hmm. I travel all the way to Los Angeles, I get off the plane, and I'm photographed. I yes. want something that's <laughs> going to hydrate, lift, act as a primer, yes. you know, make me look rested. I want that miracle cream. Yes. And that was the starting point for Morning Aura. So yeah. Morning Aura uh, pore perfecting powder, which is phenomenal yeah, because gorgeous. it closes the pores, you know, evens out skin tone. You can put it on all day throughout the day because it's nice and fine. Mm. All skin tones and, and, and uh, different skin types can use that. And it's important to use that when contouring, which is something that us ladies love to do. So I'd probably say between those two products. Yeah. But then I'd also throw in the uh, the Victorian nude lip liner, which I don't leave the house without. I have one in every single handbag. I'm completely obsessed. <laughs> it's the perfect nude. And um, what is next for the collection? I don't know. I mean, there's so much that I want to do, not just with the makeup, but in beauty itself. You know, I'd love to, I'd love to do skincare. I'd love to work on fragrances. Um, there's so much that I want to do. More makeup. You know, more tips to share. Mm. More categories that I want to go into, not just in beauty, but in fashion as well. You know, the business is growing. Um, quickly, mm. but there's so much that I want to do. I do believe that if you work hard and you dream big mm. and you focus, that you can achieve great things. And so I just, there's a lot that I want to do. You can never dream too big, I don't think, and be positive. Fantastic. And on that note, I think we shall leave it. It has been a joy to meet you, Victoria Beck, and the very best of luck with the new collection. And uh, thank you so much for your thank time you this so evening. Much. Thank, thank you. you.